says this, but I mean it. I every time I get a nice comment, I'm like so happy, and I tell Shane, I'm like, look, this person said this, and yeah, just thank you, and thank you for all the love on my video with Linda, like our first video together. That was the first video that really took off on my channel, and yeah, thank you for that as well, and as well as the support on all the other videos. And I love creating. is like 
terms as well, but like I said, I don't know if I'm the best person to talk to this about because I'm not queer, so, um, but I, I, I'm willing to listen and I'm willing to, you know, just if you need someone to talk to that is not going to judge you, <laughs> then um, you can come to me or like I said, other people on the internet or if you have a friend yeah, I would say just maybe go on a date with, um, with a woman. I don't, I don't know if this was a woman or a man or a man. <laughs> and, uh, just see what happens, explore it, and, um, embrace it. <laughs> this next person says, I have a foot fetish. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what to say to that other than... Other people. 
research and they take their time and like put candles and music and I, I don't I don't know if I should say most people but some people at least but you just like 12 people around for sure I'm guessing that they were probably asleep I that's what I'm guessing that it might have been some like party and they were asleep or something but uh, yeah that is extremely funny and juicy Thank you for sharing this. This is the gold for the video. Alright, next we have two secrets. Okay, the first secret. I lost my virginity, another virginity. <laughs>
crazy, especially since both of these things happened when you were this young and both of them had to do with like pregnancy scares. But trust me, I can relate. Um, not anymore, but when I was that age, I had quite a few pregnancy scares. Not that serious, but you just think like, oh no, what if and stuff. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe text your ex and be like, hey, it's me. I wanted to clear this up because I feel bad about it. I'm sure you wouldn't be mad, like, especially since it's been a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't want to forget any secrets. So I might have to go through all of them. But yeah, guys, those are some juicy secrets. Uh, let me just check real quick um, that I didn't forget any. Okay, I have one more secret for you guys. Um, but thank you so much for everybody who participated. Those are some juicy secrets and I had a lot of fun doing this and if you guys want, um, I can make ma more of those videos. Um, because yeah, I enjoy the ASMR gossip. I know you guys do too, so otherwise you wouldn't have voted for this video. Okay, this person says, I had a crush on my best friend's brother who has a girlfriend. Okay, had, so I'm guessing it was in the past. Well, <laughs> um, it sucks when you have a crush on someone and, you know, you can't do anything about it. You have to stay respectful of their relationship, obviously, and, um, it's like unrequited and like f from a distance, but since you said had, I'm guessing that you no longer have a crush on this person, but, um, it sucks because you can't ever express it, um, especially since it's your best friend, like you don't want it to be weird, I get it, um, but I mean it happens, <laughs> we're humans, we have crushes on people that are taken in a relationship as long as you don't, you know, do anything about it, you're not disrespecting the relationship and, um, <sighs> I don't know, it's difficult, it's difficult because it sucks, I get it, I get it, I think, I, have a cr I think I had a crush on someone once that had a girlfriend, but it was not a serious crush. It was like only for a month or two and then it went away. So I guess depending on how serious your crush 